Welcome back to another video. In past few projects, I was involved with various type of camera sensor and interfacing them to a processor. As I was looking for a next project, as I was looking for a better camera sensor, I was looking at a higher resolution camera sensor. As it turned out, all cheaply available consumer grade modern camera sensor now interface with MIPI CSI. So I was looking for a MIPI CSI sensor. The cheapest solution I found was to use a off the shelf part. So I decided to use Raspberry Pi camera which is a Sony IMX219 8 megapixel camera. So this Sony IMX219 camera also has MIPI interface and it interfaces with the Raspberry Pi main board over two lane MIPI CSI. As I was trying to interface this particular camera sensor to a FPGA. So the more information you have, the better. Then I start looking for IMX219 data sheet and I was able to locate fairly detailed data sheet of IMX219. In that data sheet, it's described that IMX219 is capable of either two or four MIPI lanes. Raspberry Pi uses only two MIPI lanes. In order to be able to pull maximum performance out of the IMX219 camera, I wanted to implement a four lane receiver. So I started looking further and I found out the schematic of this particular port. And in that schematic was given pinout. You can right now on your screen, you can see pinout of the camera sensor. This small little camera connects to the camera PCB with a 30 pin connector. By looking at the camera schematic, you can see the two MIPI pair and the clock pair. Pin number 17 and 18 are not connected and 13 and 14 are also not connected. I had a really strong intuition that these four unconnected pins, the unused MIPI data lane number 2 and 3, as they are in a pair and they follow the same pattern, they are guarded by two grounds on both of the sides. So I decided to modify Raspberry Pi camera module and I soldered a few jumper wire on it. You can see here on this side and on this side, really thin copper wire has been soldered. The original Raspberry Pi connector is smaller than this. I have soldered this one millimeter FPC connector, got few extra pins and here on this, on this side, I have soldered those two extra pair as I already have access to the IMX219 data sheet. So I knew which register I supposed to write to enable these two extra MIPI lanes. Register is 0x0114 and just by writing the appropriate value, these two lanes come on. Once I had this hacked camera module ready, spitting data on all four lines, I decided to make a baseboard. On the back side of this baseboard connects the lattice Mac XO3 FPGA development board and on the front side goes the USB 3 controller, the Cypress FX3. The camera goes here, it connects all four lanes of data and clock to the FPGA EPHY receiver. I square C line also goes to the application processor. Once everything assembled, it looks like this. Camera module is connected to this baseboard over this 24 FPC. Cypress FX3 USB 3 controller controls the camera over I square C bus. As it turned out, this setup was quite a failure. Problem was with this baseboard PCB. Signal quality was really bad and I was getting really low signal level on the FPGA and this PCB was cheaply made and I didn't take care of the impedance. Neither do I took care of the termination and traces were insanely wrong. When I was probing with my oscilloscope, I can see signal on this end but by the time signal reaches the FPGA header points, the signal was completely wrong. I didn't took care of the termination register as well. The 100 ohm termination register for MIPI should be as near as possible to the FPGA receiver. So you're supposed to mount those termination registers on the FPGA board itself, not on this base board. I have decided to skip this idea and I made another board for the camera. On your screen, you can see this is the small PCB which I made. It directly fits onto the lattice Mac XO3 FPGA board and here is how it looks. Assemble. Here are various regulators for the camera power supply. Camera output appropriately length match goes directly into the FPGA board itself and the appropriate termination is done at the FPGA end. I was able to achieve quite a high data rate. This is how it looks once it's all assembled. This board is completely open source board. So you can find the Garper PCB source and schematic of this board in my GitHub account. Link to the project page on my blog you can find in the video description. In the next video I'll be showing you how I implemented MP CSI receiver module and receive video data from this camera sensor and stream data over to the USB 3 connection.